News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, Muser, and welcome to day eight of building a chef website in Adobe Muse. Today we're on section five, so here we have the day eight section five folder. I'll go ahead and double click. Here we have the assets, so we have five assets for today. And we have the PDF, the day eight section five PNG, and the completed section five uh, Muse file as well. So I'll, I'll go ahead and click on the day eight section five PNG. And today we're gonna create the section five layer and add the section five elements. So I'll go ahead and close this. I'll go back to the root of the course folder and then I'll double click on the chef website starting file dot muse. So we wanna go ahead and click on that. And then I'll go ahead and double click on the home page. So here we have the header with the logo and the menu. We have section one, section two, section three, section four, and we're gonna add section five here. So just like with every other day that we've been adding or every section we've been adding, we wanna create the layer in the layers panel. So here I'll go to the layers panel here to the right, click on the layers panel and it should look like this, header, section one, section two, section three, section four, and footer. So I'll go ahead and create a new layer by clicking on this icon here that says new layer. It looks like a piece of paper with a folded corner. So I'll click there, and then we have layer seven right up here. I'll go ahead and double click, and then we have the layer options dialog box, and I'll call this section five. So the color is teal, so any elements we add to section five will have a teal border around it. So I'll click okay, and then right up here, we have section five, which is above section one. We wanna click, hold, and drag, and place section five right below section four. So it should look like this, header, section one, section two, section three, section four, and section five, and then the footer. So we don't want section five any in between any other layers or at the top. And then I'll go ahead and lock section four by clicking right next to the toggle visibility icon so we don't edit or work with section four. We're just working with section five uh, today. So I'll go ahead and get started. I'll open up the PDF for today so we can see what that looks like. So I'll go into the course folder for day eight, I'll double click on the PDF and I'll scroll down here and here we have section five. All right, so we have section five, so we have the gradient text, the underline, and we have these four boxes here. So this should be fairly quick, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, so let's start with adding the background. So I'll add the section five background. So I'll go to the rectangle tool right here. I'll create a rectangle right there, and then I'll go to the transform option. On the Y, it's at 49, or on the X, it's at zero. On the Y, it's at 49.55. The width is gonna be stretched to the browser width, so here in the resize option, I'll click the drop down, and I'll say stretch to browser width. And then the width will automatically become 1600. The height is 682. And there's no responsive pinning because again, it's set to stretch to browser width. Okay, so I'll go ahead and fill, fill this rectangle. So here we have the rectangle. So now let's fill the rectangle with a color. So I'll go to the fill option right, right up here. I'll select the drop down, and for the fill color, it's 272A33. So I'll hit enter and then I'll add it to the swatches panel by clicking here and I'll click OK. So there we have that kind of dark blue color added to the swatches panel. And then this rectangle also has an image. So I'll go to fill, add image. And here we are in the assets folder. If you don't find that you're in the assets folder, you can navigate to the course folder, then click on day eight, then click on assets, and it's section five background.png. So I'll go ahead and double click. And there we have the image with the fill color. The fitting is scale to fill. So right up here, I'll select scale to fill. The position is in the center and that is it. So we are done with uh, the section five background image. So now let's add the section five overlay rectangle. So for this, I'm gonna copy this rectangle. So I'm gonna hold down command C to copy and then command V to paste. And then I'll go to the fill option right up here. 
and I'll remove the image and the color is the same but for the opacity we're gonna set it to 77 percent so it's a bit see-through and then I'm just gonna overlay this rectangle right over the image so we have kind of this darker overlay over the background and kind of gives it this more interesting effect so you can kind of see the image in the background but it's not fully fully visible so we can it just has a bit of a, an opacity to it so now let's add the gradient text so I'll go to the library panel here to the right and I'll type in gradient text and I'll bring in the gradient text widget so here I'll click hold and drag place right in there I'll open the widget options and then here we have the widget options so the instance number is three the headline or the paragraph tag is an h2 subhead the text is clients the font size is 2.81 the font weight is none the letter spacing is one the line height is one text transform is set to none and text align is set to center actually the line height is 1.5 so 1.5 for the line height then we'll go to the gradient section the gradient angle is zero the first color is this pink color here and the second color is this peach color and then for the IE fallback we'll set it to black so it's really visible on Internet Explorer browsers okay so now I'll go to the transform panel I'll select the widget then go to the transform panel so the width is or the position on the X is 700 the position on the Y is 50 83 the width is 200 and the height is 67 the responsive pinning is set to center and the resize is set to none okay so there we have the gradient text and then I'll select the widget I'll go to the text panel and here I'll type in Roboto light and I'll select Roboto light and there we have the text so now we'll create the gradient underline so I'll select the rectangle tool and I'll create an underline underneath clients I'll go to the transform panel and on the X it's at 764 the Y is at 5157 the width is 72 by 2 the responsive pinning is set to center and the resize is set to none then I'll go to the fill option right up here click the drop down select the gradient the first color is this pink color the second color is this peach color the focal point is 50 percent the direction is horizontal and the size is automatic perfect so there we have the underline looks good so the next parts are going to be fairly quick we're just going to add rectangles with logos in them so if we go to the PDF we have these four different rectangles so I'll go into muse and I'll select the rectangle tool right here and I'll create a rectangle I'll go to the transform panel and for the first one it is 215 on the X and 5222 on the Y the width is 270 and the height is 250 the responsive pinning is set to the center and the resize is set to none perfect and then for the fill I'll go to the fill option right up here so the color is white and then I'll select the fill drop down the fill panel I'll select add image and the image for this one is section 5 logo 1 so I'll go ahead and double click and there we have the logo so then for the fitting it is set to original size so that's all set there and the position is set to center so the center button here within the position option perfect so there we have the first logo and one thing you might notice is that that overlay that we added that second ranked rectangle became taller in height because when we added line height to the client section it extended the height of this panel so you just want to go ahead and bring it up until it's flush with the with the rectangle in the background so now that we've created this first square or this first rectangle if we go to the PDF we have three more so I'll go in, back into Muse and I'll just copy and paste this first one four times just like that and then the position of the second one on the X is at uh, 515 the position of the next one I can also just align it so that they're 30 pixels apart from each other using the the guidelines from Adobe Muse so this uh, this third one should be at 
of 815, which it is. So that's 815, 5222. And this fourth one should be at 1115, uh, which it is 1115, and then 5222. And then I'll just replace the images within these, rectang within these rectangles. So I'll select the second one. I'll go to the fill option right up here, select the image. And for this one, it's gonna be section five, logo two. And then I'll select the third one, go to the fill, go to image, and this is gonna be section five, logo three. Then I'll select the fourth one, go to the fill option. This is gonna be section five, logo four. Okay, perfect, and just like that, we've added section uh, five. That is it for section five, let's go to the PDF. We have five assets, one, two, three, four, and the background uh, image. So if we go to the finder, go to assets, we have one, two, three, four, five. So all the assets are accounted for. So now I'll go to file, preview page, and browser to preview the site. And I'll scroll down, and there we have section five, perfect. And it's uh, responsive pinned to the center, so all the elements stay relative to the center when the browser is resized. So I'll, I'll make it full screen here, and we can see those logos are all in the center. Looks good. So here we have the website so far. We have the header with the logo and the menu, section one, section two, section three, with the recipe section, section four, and section five. So let's just go over a quick overview. I'll go to the layers panel. And the layers panel should look like this, header, section one, section two, section three, section four, section five, and footer. Okay, so that is it for day eight, section five. Tomorrow we'll be moving on to day nine, section six, and grouping. News for you, awesome websites without code.